if you look over here, this is my screen. This is my Stream Deck, right? This is Open Broadcaster over here. So you have Open Broadcaster and you have my Stream Deck. Now watch what happens when you click on Start Recording. Please launch OBS Studio. But, o but OBS Studio is right here. It, it's, it, it's right here. It's right here, Elgato. It's right here. But it says, please launch OBS Studio. But OBS Studio is right here. I've tried reinstalling OBS. I've tried reinstalling Stream Deck. And it still doesn't work. Here we have another dead MacBook. Let's figure out what's wrong with this MacBook and see if it can be fixed. So now remember, the first thing that I like to do when working on these devices is unplug the battery. I want to know how much amperage the board is using without the battery. The battery is going to use a different amount of amperage depending on whether or not it is fully charged, half charged, or completely discharged. I want to know exactly how much amperage the board is using because associating different problems with different uh, amperage draws means that as soon as I plug this in, if it's taking 200 milliamps, that's one set of problems. If it's taking 100 milliamps, that's another set of problems. If it's taking 20 milliamps, then we put it on Paul's desk. But you get the idea. Different, every time I solve a board, I try to figure out how much amperage it was taking in the beginning by just writing it down, and then I associate that with the problem, and then it's a shortcut. So, you know, every time I have this, I know it's that. Now, this thing is taking zero amps. Zero is an interesting number. That is most likely indicative of some sort of short circuit. So let's see what's going on here. We're going to unplug the board, unplug the battery, unplug everything from it, and see what's wrong with our little touch bar Mac. So if you look over here, you'll see that we have PP bus G3 hot as my first rail. So let's measure that rail and see if it's present on this MacBook. So we're going to check out the PP bus. And PP bus seems to be zero volts. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to see if there's a short to ground on PP bus. I'm going to unplug power from my charger, and then at some point when my hand my, uh, decides to listen to my nervous system, or the other way around, I will see if we have a short to ground. And it looks like we do. We have 1.9 ohms to ground on our PP bus. So now we're going to take a look over the board and see if there's anything that looks like it could be wrong with our PP bus. Also, thank you very much to people like Paul Daniels for making multimeter software available that allows you to see what's on my multimeter on the screen without me having to read it to you. A big thank you to Paul Daniels. Head over to pldaniels.com to check out his free software, his repair services, or hit a donate link if you appreciate the fact that he's made software like this. Check that out. Is that not beautiful and in focus? So let's take a look around this board. This board has a very small amount of pubes on it. I'm very impressed by that. I would typically expect far more pubes on a board than what I, oh, oh, oh dear, what is that? And it looks like this is right by a CPU MOSFET, the CPU MOSFET, that's the thing that powers the CPU, you know, the thing that requires the Zalmo to replace, the tool that Paul loves, the Zalmo. All right, let's get to it. Let's see if that's what's causing our short to ground. But I want to look around the board a little bit more before I just determine that that's the cause of the problem. Okay. Wonder what that's for. So I know the other thing is around CPU area. What does this do? Pedro donated a dollar through Super Chat. Thank you very much. I highly appreciate that. I really do. That's very kind and polite of you. And it makes me feel less stupid about putting money into the nicer microphone setup and stuff here. Thank you very much. Okay, it looks like that capacitor, C7421, is on a buck converter for CPU vCore. And it died. And in addition to that, we also have a CPU vCore MOSFET that looks like a byte has been taken out of it. So let's see. What do you all think? Do you think this is just going to work again if I replace that MOSFET and replace the capacitor? Or do you think that this is going to require Enel to live stream replacing a CPU tomorrow after we live stream him taking the Zalmo, carrying it on his shoulder up the stairs from the basement filled with rats and rat piss and garbage directly to this desk? One way to find out.
Okay, so let's see what my resistance is to ground and if this thing has the ability to, to work. Takes away my reason to live. Okay. So it looks like our short circuit is actually gone now that we've taken off that capacitor. Now we're going to see if we get an image. Now you know that I'm a little, uh, I'm a little skeptical of that U of the CPU MOSFET, given what it looks like. And I usually wouldn't want it to give something like that back to a customer. However, I'm think you know there's a saying that you should probably copy the tactics of the people who are beating you. And Apple is clearly winning. So if Apple were to give something back to somebody that were wasn't in you know perfect condition and it would fail. They'd probably say something like, I'm sorry that you had this problem that affected such a small number of users. So I think what I'm gonna do if this fails again, I'm just gonna tell them, I'm sorry your logic board repair that only fails for a few number of our customers has had an issue. But just, just for lulz, I wanna see if that destroyed CPU MOSFET looking thing actually works. A small number, small number, small number, small number, small number, small number, small number. Small number. You're gonna Small die on number. cancer, I promise. Small number. You're gonna die on Small cancer, number. I promise. Holy cancer, shit. Cancer, 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 cancer. Are you booting into something? Are you taking 400 milliamps right now? Wow. It booted. With that CPU MOSFET, it booted. That's pretty interesting. That's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something.